beautiful family and friends and welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back today i'm going to um make a great fat makeup uh testing so i'm going to use all my uh great fat makeup that i bought last time and um i also went to another great fat to buy a few other makeup uh stuff that i needed for this uh haul and um yeah i hope you guys will enjoy it if you already like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to my channel let's get started as you guys can see i have nothing and nothing on my face i just came out of the shower so yeah first what i'm going to use is this uh redent skin primer and primer and mix dry oil serum It smells pretty good. I like the smell. Um, it feels nice on my skin. It is it is oily. Uh, I use few other primers, but they are not oily. But I like this because I have a medium to dry skin. So yeah, I think I like this one till now. There's nothing wrong with it. After my cream, I'm going to put. Um, just a normal regular cream on my face. I'm using the B, B, B cream to moisture a little bit my face. Just a little bit. So yeah, now when my face is moisturized, I got my serum on my face, I got my cream. I don't have a primer I think I forgot or they didn't have it so I am going to use another primer I'm going to use the SN uh, Prime Plus Studio Ma uh, Mattifying Plus Pore Minimize Primer So after the primer, I'm going to use the Stay With Me foundation. This one in the shade 48 and it's called ND uh, Praline. Praline, I don't know how to pronounce it, but this one. By the way, I have here my beauty blender and it's already wet. So make sure that your beauty blender is wet. So you have two sides I use, most of the times I use this uh, round side for my foundation and the other side, the pointed side I would like to use for my um, concealer. So right now I'm going to use the round side to blend my foundation out. I was hoping when I was buying it that I hope the color will be okay, that it would be the same color as my skin but right now when I'm applying it it feels okay it feels like it's a light color it is definitely making my face uh, matte i think i i like this foundation so this is the foundation I think it's a little 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 bit too, too dark for me and a little bit too dark for me not too dark but just a little bit but we can work with it because we still have to put concealer on and so yeah I think we can work with it after my foundation I have a stay with me concealer long lasting in the color 023 W light uh, cashmere Catch my I don't know. And again, I hope this color is okay for me. It seems like it would be the good color, but you never know. I like to apply it like this because I want my under eyes to be really bright. So this is how I apply it. Like I told you, with the pointed uh, side of my beauty blender, I like to blend my concealer. I 
I don't really like this concealer. As you can see, I have, I feel like here on this side, this eye, I under I, I have concealer on this one. I have nothing. So, but maybe it's like buildable. Let's try one more layer. On this side, I definitely need more because I. Like this eye is not that bad. I don't it's not that I like it. No, I don't like it. What the hell? I don't know if you guys can see it, but what is this? That's weird. That's really weird. It felt like, like my skin is peeling off. No, I don't like this at all. But I really want this to work because I have to go after this. After making this video, I need to go somewhere, so this look better work out for me because I don't have time at the right. No, I hate this concealer. With the leftover concealer on my beauty blender, I drag it on my nose and on my chin and a little bit on my forehead. So to set the concealer and uh, and to bake it a little bit, I have here, I have the uh, Flawless Finish Translucent uh, Glow Setting Powder and I got also the Even Skin Primer Finish Translucent Matting uh, Matte Powder. I don't know which one to use because I want to use this one but I think it would be dark and especially now when the concealer didn't do anything. Um, I think I will go for this one, the even, uh, even skin. I have it on my uh, sponge now and I'm just going to press my powder in. I put a lot on this side because I feel there is no, no concealer on this side so really happy with my look already so let's see what's gonna happen I'm going to do my eyebrows and I'm going to leave my powder um, under my eyes to set my concealer so I got three things for my eyebrows one is an um, eyebrow micro pen one is a diamond shaped eyebrow pencil and I got an eyebrow gel I think I will go for the eyebrow diamond shade waterproof pencil. So I'm gonna leave the uh, micro pen and I'm going to use the um, eyebrow pencil. So let's try it. So first I like to under underline my eyebrows and then I start halfway till the end. After doing that, I'm going to use my spoolie. You see, now I have a little bit thicker brows. And I already do like that. I'm just going to do my other brow. So now I have both brows done. And now I'm also going to put the eyebrow gel, fixing eyebrow gel, to fix my eyebrows. It's actually making my eyebrows darker than they are, but I don't mind that. I like thick and dark eyebrows. Now I'm going to make this disappear. I'm going to clean it with a normal brush, nothing on it. It's so weird that I actually like this side but i don't like this side because on the concealer on this side i hate it now i'm going to use this uh sunny side matte bronzer to bronze my face it is in the shade uh zero to zero deep depth it smells good
the funny thing is I use a bronzer as well as a contour um, so I'm just going to contour a little bit my nose with it so I bronze my nose a little bit with it not too much because it is a bronzer and not a contour but I just like to contour my face with the bronzer so yeah after bronzing my face um i want to apply blush i have two uh two blushes i have the velvet glow big blush in the shade uh, 101 pesto peach and i also got the dreamy glow a uh, gel cream blush in the shade zero uh, zero three zero uh, delicate honey this one so i'm going to use the this one the velvet glow this is the color here's my blush brush now i'm going in my blush hello i'm going in my blush and like hard there is blush coming out but I'm not like it's very powdery, you can see it. I'm going in again. What is this? There is nothing happening. I think this color is too light for me. That's why you can't see it on my face. I like to dab my um, brush in and then I would like to make circular motions. I think I I'm going with this one because you can't even see my blush right now. For this, I am going to use my beauty blender again. I'm going to use the pointed side with the back side. This one, the side is not used yet. I don't know how much to just a little drop. Let's see if I can see. I think this one is too light either. too light but yeah I can't do anything about it right now so I'm going to leave it like this this testing video is a disaster I don't like it I don't like both of them and then it's time for the eyeshadow I think I want to try the uh, the purple one um, this one is the new oh sorry it's a pink one nude pink eyeshadow palette the rose like this this one i'm going to try it till now i hate my makeup so first i'm going to uh going in with this color it's the second one the middle one oh it has a lot of fallout look at this <sighs> look it's really no, it's not it's really powdery I'm going to put it on the upper crease of my eyes and I'm going to make round 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 motions what is it with Kratz Fat makeup it's like there's nothing coming out I have to blend a lot and I have to put a lot to get something on my eyes So after using that color, I'm going uh, with this color. It's the first one. It's a purple shade, but a really light purple shade. And I'm going to put it a little bit under my uh, crease. Oh yes, I like this color. It's a really light palette, but I think in camera, it's you can't see it properly, but in real life. Like in real, in reality, it's really pretty. But I'm going to do my other eye. After blending those two colors in, I'm going in with the darkest color, the darkest purple, this one. And this is uh, this is also going to be the darkest color on my eyes. And I just took a little bit and I'm going to put it on the outer side of my eyes.
I'm really happy that they are blending really well together and it's not taking extra energy for uh, energy to blend them but right now I really I love this I wish uh, the palette had more pigment but it's okay and then I would like to go in with this this color for that I'm going in with my fingers and I'm gonna put it on my eyelid here in the middle of my eyelid oh wow I really like it oh my god guys look after doing that I'm going again with the darkest color in the palette this one and I'm going to blend those two colors the, the shimmer color and the matte color together so after doing that I'm going back again with this color the purple light purple and I'm going to put it under my eye and at the end of my waterline I'm going to put the dark one as well I like this eyeshadow I do like it and I'm liking the process of it as well I like the eye makeup look the lighter shade it's like a white pinky cream color with glitter on it I'm going to use that to just give to just to give my eyes a pop if they're open and I'm going to use the same color as well under my eyebrow just here just here now I'm going to use their matte eyeliner pen it's a pointy one as you guys can see So the eyeliner is black, it's applying really good, um, it is a smooth eyeliner, no doubt about it. Now when I have my eyeliner on, I'm going to use two of their eye, um, mascara, I have the volume balm mascara. It, this one the pink one, purple one and i have the lash defined sky mascara um i know that this one is a thin one as you can see i'm going to use this one under for my uh under lashes and this one i'm going to use for my upper lashes oh you can i don't know what it is but i can press it in this is the brush Let's try it. I did my mascara for my upper lashes. Now I'm going to use the thinner one for my under lashes. it the next thing what i have are those highlighters i have the 110 uh, uh, champagne pelican and the 130 golden uh, jubilee those two i think i am going for this one lips i got this lip color bomb long lasting best of both so you have a uh, color i think it will uh, the, this will dry on your lips and then you have to put the balm on and i also got the plumping lip smoothing high gloss this one is in the shade 60 cream caramel and i got this one i got one more this one is in the shade 110 sparkling glacier I think I want to go for those two. One of those. Um, let me go for the clear, the new one. 
going in with the nude one. I really like this color, but if I do a natural look, so and it is cold on my lips, and I like, I love, I, I don't know, everything what's plumping. I don't like the plumping effect because I don't feel like my lips are plumping, but I like that it is cold and it's a little bit tinting on my lips. But I'm going to wipe this off and I'm going to use this one. Many times when you don't want to wear makeup or anything, there's always moments that you want to have something on your lips. I think for those times, this one is really good. And I think this one will also be very good. So let's try this one. Let's start with this one. If it gets really dry. Because I just had this one on my lips, my lips are not really dry anymore. So I'm just going uh, in with this color. It's by the way in the shade Deep uh, Winnie Berry uh, 055. So yeah. So it is a really smooth uh, formula. I didn't have to go again to put more color. So I think this one is right now the best product that I tried and it is drying up right now. So I am going to leave it dry for a bit and then I'm going to put the balm on. So my lips are totally dry now as you can see I have nothing on my hand. There's nothing coming off, so it's totally dry. Um, I like matte lipstick, but I don't like the feeling that my lips are really dry. So I'm really happy that they have something like this. It's not a lot, but better something than nothing. So now I'm going to put this one on top of my lips. So now I have. I don't like the gloss effect, <laughs> but maybe it will get better after a bit, but I like the matte effect, but right now my lips are not dry anymore and I like that. So actually I think instead of the balm, I could put this on my lips, but it's too late now. So yeah, before I was making this video, I just came out of shower, my hair is still wet. Um, I'm just going to do my hair, I'm going to change my clothes and I'll be right back. So here we are again, I just dried my hair, mm, I put some jewelry on, my earrings and nothing else. <laughs> Before I'm going to end this video, uh, I'm also going to uh, put some um, primer and setting spray for my face. This one as well. It smells really good. Now I have to wait for this try. Mm. I like this one as well. So now I'm going to tell you guys what I really like and what I don't like. As you guys know, what I don't like is what I didn't like is this. I don't like it didn't do anything for me um, I don't like it I'm not gonna use it again and I would not recommend it to anyone else um, I don't know like I just bought it new all the products what I bought uh, you can find it uh, in my credit haul. you can see how much it was and the other stuff what you can't find in that video I bought it I think two or three days later in another card spot because the old card spot where I did all my shopping they didn't have more makeup so I went to the other store uh, the prices of the other products are between six years seven years and 350 something like that but there is nothing more it says so I think the foundation was 650 and everything was under the 650 so yeah but yeah this foundation I won't I wouldn't recommend it anymore uh, to anyone as you can see it's I don't know if you can see it it's like it's breaking already in the container so yeah 
not gonna use it again not gonna recommend it to anyone else what i also didn't like are those two but maybe that's because it's too light for me i don't know I, they had more colors i'm gonna try the other color maybe it will work for me so i didn't like it what i really liked really 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 like is this one this one the thin eyeliner for your under lashes and the lip product i don't know i don't know even where i put it right now it's just in front of me this one i really like really much and this one those two products i really love eyeshadow palette it's nice i love my look right now my eyes, look, uh, my eyes look I really like it but I think if it had a little bit more pigment it would be really nice but still I like it um, the foundation I like I don't know about the serum I think I have to try a few more times and then I can have then I can tell you guys like if I like it if I don't like it uh, is it good for my skin is it not so I have to try this a few more times the foundation I like I like the foundation um, but yeah, same thing. I have to try it for a few more times, or maybe the maybe the concealer was not working with this one with this foundation. I will give the concealer one more chance with, the, with my favorite with my favorite combination of foundations. So I will give it there a try. And if it doesn't work, then it means no the foundation is not good. Uh, not the foundation, sorry, the concealer is not good and um, yeah, there are many times that I don't want to put this much makeup on my face so at that point, this lip gloss is perfect you will have a little bit of color in your lip gloss and I like the feeling of plumping I don't want that plumping effect on my lips but I like the feelings so that it is cold and it's tinting on my lips, I like it so this one I like as well Eyebrows, okay, nothing special. Eyeliner, nothing special. It's black. That's really important. And it was working well. It did what it had to do. Um, highlighter, I think I'm okay with it. I'm, I'm not upset with it, but I'm also not happy with it. So I have to try this a few more times. Or maybe the, uh, the golden one is better. And um, this one, I think it's little bit too light for me so but i can work with it the thing with bronzer is if you don't use it as a bronzer i can also use it as an eyeshadow as a base eyeshadow so yeah mm. and then i also have the translucent the trans translucent <laughs> glow setting powder um, I have to try it before, try it before I tell you something about it. And, um, yeah. So right now I have one, two, three, four products that I've really tried. This eyebrow pencil, the translucent powder, um, lip gloss. Oh no, I have more. This one, oh, the eyeshadow, the other eyeshadow the smoking gold eyeshadow palette and uh, i also have the golden 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 highlight so yeah yeah that's it oh and this one it smells good it feels good uh the setting uh, the setting spray i think it will be good because Right here, I don't have makeup, but it is very sticky. Um, I think you can use it as a setting powder, as a setting spray. Um, I mean, primer. You can use it as a primer as well, but I use the SN Primer Plus Pro one because I forgot that I had this one. It was on my table, and I was like, oh, I got one more thing to test. So, um, yeah, that's it actually for today. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. If you want to see how much the other products were, don't forget to watch my other craft haul. And um, 
happiness. I hope to see you next time. Bye.